Who tells Emily Maynard they love her and who has a heartbreaking exit? And I feel bad about that every day, man. Hey guys, I'm Elena Scantlin and HollywoodLife.com has your Bachelorette Week 7 highlights. Emily Maynard is getting closer to her most dramatic rose ceremony yet. And this week kicked off in Prague with just six of the guys left. Ari, Doug, Jeff, Sean, Chris, and John. Ari scores the one-on-one -on -one date, but it gets touchy when Emily questions him about a past relationship with, get this guys, a show producer. Oh, this is Cassie, my producer. Oh yeah, I know her. Oh, I don't think he would for fear of like, it being weird. But it wouldn't have been weird if somebody would have just said in day one, hey, we know each other. They settle off camera, of course, and realize there's nothing to worry about. It was 10 years ago. I know you had a lot of things on your mind, and I know that it's my fault that I didn't say anything. It's not because I wanted to be dishonest, you know? It didn't even cross my mind. Then, drum roll please, Ari drops the album. I think I realized that I love you. Way to beat everyone to the punch, Ari. We're sure that scored major points with the Southern Belle. The second one-on-one -on -one date is with John, who we keep forgetting even exists. Sorry, John. Anyway, after visiting a John Lennon wall, they bring locks to fasten to a fence to solidify their love. But Emily believes the fact that John can't fasten his lock right away is, well, that's not a good sign. I feel like John trying to close our lock reminds me of our relationship. We just haven't been able to really connect but his sob story about his old girlfriend cheating on him keeps her from immediately sending the guy home. You know, I do have a tough shell, and it's, it's nice to trust somebody to open up and to be vulnerable and to let her, let her in. But get this, the best part of the date didn't even involve John, because after Em and John return from their ho-hum dinner, Sean runs after Emily in the street and lays a big wet one on her. This is a nice surprise. I know, I um, had to see you. Nice. The group date with Sean, Doug, and Chris involves a carriage ride to a castle. Doug is standoffish, but finally gives Emily a kiss. Aw, but it's too late for the single dad because he gets sent home. I fought for you because I couldn't say goodbye to you yet. Okay. And I don't feel like you're fighting for me. And you know what came after that? Man tears. I feel really stupid for just giving you a kiss. No, no, no. Okay. I don't want you to feel that way. Mm. Meanwhile, Sean and Chris battle it out for alone time with the Bachelorette. Sean kisses him again, and Chris has a panic attack over not getting a one-on-one -on -one date. This day would be a thousand percent better if Sean wasn't here, uh, just because I know it would just be me and Emily, and I wouldn't have to worry about you know what's going on right now when they're talking. Needless to say, Sean gets the road. Jeff, with one F, gets the last one-on-one -on -one date to a marionette shop. Emily knows this guy is ready to be a dad because Jeff gets a doll for Ricky. The pair uses their marionettes to reenact the times they've spent together. Uh, this is me over here, standing, mm -hmm. waiting to meet you. <laughs> uh, what, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> I'll let you decide if that was cute or creepy. Lucky for Jeff, Emily was totally into it, like she's been into Jeff the whole time, and she's not the only one getting butterflies. I am 100, 1 million percent <laughs> in love with you, and I can't even imagine what I would do without you in my life. Take that, Ari. Later, Chris pulls a Kanye and interrupts the rose ceremony when he realizes it's down to him and John. I want to let you know that, that I'm ready to be the man that you deserve. And it works because Chris gets the rose, and John, well, obviously he gets the boot. Maybe I'll find my Cinderella someday. Next week, Emily will meet the families of Ari, Chris, Jeff, and Sean. We can't wait. In the meantime, see these arrows. Click on them to watch the next or previous story from ENTV. And as always, to stay up to date on everything Hollywood, log on to HollywoodLife.com and subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.